Hi everyone, uh, something different today, just a very short video about a day in the use of our Kona Electric. So yeah, 64 kilowatt hour Kona, um, this morning we had 45% on the uh, battery left and uh, I think it was about 122, 125 miles uh, on the GOM. And uh, we've been out and, or Susan's been out and done a 57 mile round trip got a really good 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. I'll have to confess, I think she's actually more economical than I am. Um, <laughs> which which annoys me. It does annoy me because I always thought I was economical and she was the one that's not. But uh, in the Kona, she does seem to get better economy than me. And yeah, it irks me slightly. Anyway, we're down to 65 miles on the GOM there without the heater on at the moment. Um, so 65 plus 57, that's 122. That's pretty close to the starting point of 45% uh, and 125 miles. And 26% left, 65 miles to go. Plan next, uh, we've got another journey coming up. Uh, we've got about a 40, 46 mile round trip. So I've decided not to charge the car. So this is two journeys in the single day where we've started with 45% and we're going to do... Um, you know, 100, 110 miles. But the plan is I want to pop to another charger. There's a charger I want to go to. It's not very often I charge from a very low state of charge. So I fancy doing that and seeing how accurate the GOM is at lower levels. It's it's not what I would normally do. Um, I don't really feel comfortable there. Uh, you do hear about uh, battery problems with cars where when they get to a low percentage or um, low number of miles to go on the GOM that the miles just disappear really quickly car turns off and they're basically stranded now my, my thought is i've seen that happen with mobile phone before um that's what happens after a couple of years and the batteries had it um i wonder whether that's what happens with electric cars as well your first sign you've got a uh, battery problem is where the uh percentage and miles at the end at the bottom end run out really really fast so no i don't fancy doing that on a regular basis but anyway the car's new i shouldn't have a problem should i it should be quite accurate Okay, we've arrived at our destination. Uh, miles per kilowatt hour has come down somewhat. It's a cold, horrible, wet, windy night, so I wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, but uh, putting sat-nav on for our charger location, we're only 13 and a half miles away, and we've still got 39 miles left, so all good news. I think percentage, we're at about 19% at the moment on the battery. And the reason I haven't included very much of the journey is because it's a dark, wet night. There's really not much to show you. Okay, we've arrived at the charger. It's an E-Volt charger on, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Swaco, Swaco, something like that. Um, and for me, it looked like we should have had about 23 miles when we got here, but uh, we've got 28. So it looks like it's on the cautious side, the GOM, from what I can see. So that's good news, and that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping to find out whether it went down quickly or went up in the last few moments. Anyway, time to go off and try this charger. We are currently on 12%. So there's something that annoys me slightly um, with charging at these rapid chargers. Um, this car park supposedly um, has a limit of an hour, um, which I can understand is reasonable. They want, uh, if there's a queue of people, they want to uh, kick people off and let somebody else use the charger. But here I am, I arrived with 12% and it says an hour and a quarter to get to 80%. So it's not even allowing me to charge the car to 80%. It's, you know, the car's not charging fast enough <laughs> or um, the charger's not allowing you to stay here long enough. It seems crazy that when you need the charge and you need to get to 80%, you can't stop long enough without an overstay fine. It's uh, a bit of a pain. One of the things that amazes me is um, Hyundai quote to get to 80% on a 50 kilowatt charger will take 75 minutes. And yet here I am arriving with 12% left on the uh, battery and it still takes 75 minutes. So why is that? Why can it do it from zero in 75 minutes, but from 12% it can also do it in 75 minutes? Is it that it's deliberately slowing it down so that it will do it in 75 minutes? Or um, is there some quirk and randomness that just means whenever I plug in, it's always the time that Hyundai have quoted? 
So it's 4 degrees outside, we've driven 32 miles and charging from 12% all the way through to 76%, the charge rates didn't move from 36, 37 kilowatts. Bit of a shame really that the battery didn't heat up enough in that time to give us a little higher charge rate and make the charge a little quicker. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. More Kona experience videos coming soon.